values. You ever stop and know what your actual values are, the kind of rules that you live your life by? Hi, I'm Reverend Ellie Bierman, and I'm very glad you came by to join us for our gathering here today of Metaphysical Ministry International. A metaphysical ministry is a place where we get to share the fact that we're creating our reality with the knowledge that what exists is more than what we can see, hear, taste, smell, or touch. The reality that composes more than 99% of our world, of our lives, we can't notice it. We can't absorb it. We can't even be aware of it using only our physical senses. When you allow yourself to move beyond your physical senses, suddenly life becomes richer in so many ways. You get every week with a happy share that's something that leaves you feeling happy, feeling good, feeling at peace. Well, why would you do a happy share? Because the more you create the habit of happiness by looking for things for which you feel really happy, well, the more you're going to find, because the universe is going to give you more and more reasons to be happy. And the cool thing about sharing it, and hence the word happy, share, you get to relive the experience all over something that left you feeling really good. So my happy share this week, that I'm going to share because there are a whole lot of them. But this one is so monumental. I had occasion to walk down four whole steps. And I did it without holding a real or a person. Now why is that so amazing? Because I haven't been able to do that for 17 years. When I had a brain injury 17 years ago, I never did regain 100% of my balance. So all these years, I've always had to hold someone or something, even to go up and down two steps. So four steps is a really big deal. I'm ever so grateful to do it, and ever so happy to be able to share it, and get all that exciting feeling of accomplishment again. So now let's get to the question at hand, values. Do you know that more people, probably most people, spend more time charting out the course of their vacation and their plans than they ever do looking at their values and seeing what their values are and whether or not they're living in accordance with those values. See, when something's not going right in your life, there's a really good chance it's because it's going against some value you're not even aware of having. So what I'm going to do this coming few weeks is I'm going to share with you the different steps of learning what your values actually are, the things you hold dear, the things that, so to speak, are the rules by which you unconsciously run your life. Only sometimes you'll be knocking up against your values and you'll be feeling not so great in your life and that's one reason you may not be enjoying your life this evening. So what I want you to do to prepare is start thinking about what is important to you. What kind of values do you think matter? And then write a whole big list of them. Oh, there are things like having fun, love, honoring other people, being your best at whatever it is that you're doing, being in integrity, being truthful, maybe you value being healthy and doing what it takes to actually live a healthy life. Being happy. Whatever it is that's important to you, note it on your list. And next week, I'll tell you what to do. Now, if you're on the ministry page and you look up there, you're going to see a page called Hold a Space For. And what that's for is that there's something in your life that you want to make a reality that just it's not your reality right now. Maybe you want to live in a different place. Maybe there's a course you want to take. Maybe you want to fill a room with people for your book launch. Hey, I think I'm going to add that for my May 2nd book launch. Yeah. Anyway, whatever it is, go ahead. You go down there and tell us. 
and it will magically appear up there on the Holy Space page. Come back at least once a week. Tell your friends, tell your family. Read each name and each request on the list. You don't have to know who they are. The universe does. So read the name, read the request, and just hold the space. Just take you know, a few seconds and ask the universe to make this true for this person. See, when you request something, the universe takes action and always delivers at the time that's right for you. And the universe notices and gets more confirmation when the thought form is bigger than just your thought, but the 10, 20, 100, 1,000 people who might also be looking at your name and your request and envisioning you spiritually Living that is your reality. If you haven't done so already, come on over there and pick up your copy of How to Take Your First Steps on Your Spiritual Path. I really appreciate your clicking like and share, letting people know that you're here. The reason that I now do this ministry online as opposed to live with people coming to our center is because there are lots of people out there who can't find the place where there are people who think like they do, where there are people who are very spiritual without any attachment to any religions. Because religion is a very, very different thing from spirituality. I wish you a week of very many blessings. And when you come back next week, bring your list of values along, and we'll go from where we started today.